gift giving is hard and these are all the wrong choices. Every single one, I don't think you should give this holiday. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Hey, what is up guys? It is Biker Babe Beth here and it's freezing cold in Ohio. It's getting close to the holidays. It's flurrying outside. So it's time for me to do the obvious and make a anti-gift giving guide. Anti, yeah, bah humbug. I am like the Grinch when it comes to Christmas. Um, I like Krampus a little bit more than Santa, but honestly, never been a huge fan of the capitalistic bah humbug bullshit that is Christmas. And a lot of these gift giving guides are getting really repetitive. I love the people that are sharing them. They're awesome content creators, but the stuff that they're saying to gift your loved ones, to gift the bikers that you know, I disagree. I don't think you should give these to the bikers that you know. I'm gonna list out the five things that I think you should not be giving to your biker friends or loved ones that are bikers this Christmas. Let's just get into it real fast. I'll give you some alternatives to these gifts, but honestly, the reason why these are on a list is because most bikers have this stuff already. So be sure to stay around to the end of this video where I give you the real holiday gifts from real people and not giant corporations that you should give the bikers in your life. So I promise this video isn't just anti-gifts. There are some places that I suggest you give gifts from this holidays. So stay tuned till the end for that. And also be sure to stick around to the end where I talk about 2023 plans, where we discuss where we're going, what we might be doing. I may have a really exciting build series coming to you guys, but this build series would be on a 1965 Fastback Ford Mustang. Comment down below if you're interested in that, but we'll discuss more at the end of this video. Just a little tidbit about that. Gift giving is hard, and these are all the wrong choices. Every single one, I don't think you should give this holiday. There's five of them. Let's get into it. Let's cut through these real fast because I feel like if you give a biker these items, they may re-gift them or they may not use them ever because they already have one. Let's get into it. Item number one, a phone mount. Everybody has a phone mount already. If they don't, they've already, they, you know, they'll look into it and buy what they want. But I mean, I have this, this one on my bike and it's like, a very cheap aftermarket. Lamical is the name of it. And it's honestly, it works great. I haven't gotten any vibration issues. My husband has a Ram mount and the Ram mount honestly gave him the vibration thing on his camera and his screen doesn't work well when he takes pictures. He had to get a new phone after that. Just keep that in mind that some camera mounts aren't the best and you will get the vibration dampening issue. So make sure you get a vibration dampener if you do buy a phone mount. But don't, don't buy somebody a phone mount. That's the number one thing. Just don't buy them one. They'll buy what they want. If they don't already have one, most people already have a phone mount for their bikes. Not a very good gift to give, honestly, in my opinion. All right, number two on my list of do not give this to people for Christmas. It's one of those expensive seat pads. There's a few companies. I won't name them outright, but they're hundreds of dollars seat pads and they're air inflatable seat pads. They are very prolific companies, made a lot of money, but in my opinion, don't pay a lot for a seat pad and don't buy people one of those expensive ones. There is an alternative. If you do want to buy someone a seat pad for Christmas, bless it. The alternative is one of these cheap Amazon inflatable pads. Link down below in the description. Honestly, I've converted so many motorcyclists that I know, so many riders that go long distance to these this cheap seat pad specifically, and they're like, wow, Beth, should have saved myself a lot of money in the first place. All right, third thing. Third, on my list of do not buy this for your biker friends for Christmas. Biker jewelry. You gross. Don't do it. Don't buy the biker jewelry. Do not. Is my cat really crying in the background? Do you guys hear her? I cannot. Hold tight, tea. Okay, like I said, biker jewelry. It's disgusting. You do not want to gift biker jewelry 
This is Xena, by the way, who is crying inside the house. We'll just do a few, a few parts of the video with her. She wants to be in the garage really bad. It's new, unexplored territory. Look at all the stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yes, kitty distractions. Anyway, the, the biker jewelry culture is great. Don't get me wrong. There are some small businesses that make amazing biker jewelry. Choose those. Do not go with the huge Meglo conglomerates that make that really shit giant, chunky, ugly biker jewelry. Do not buy people that. If they wanna buy their, if they wanna buy clunky biker jewelry, they'll do it at a, at a bike convention and they'll choose what they want specifically. So just please keep that in mind. Do not go out of your way <laughs> to buy your biker friends some badass biker jewelry because you know that's what they want. No, no, they'll pick it out themselves. And that's what a lot of the repeating theme is of this video is a lot of these items, bikers wanna get them for themselves and choose what they want exactly. Because you could give someone like a skull ring, like me, like, oh, she's a bad biker, she'll like a skull ring. I don't like skulls, so you messed up. So think about that. A lot of people buy biker jewelry, but just don't gift it. So that is bad gift item number three. And hey, the cat's annoying me, she's going back inside. Continuing on without the cat. Item number four. Everyone suggests this item, and once again, I don't suggest it because like the biker jewelry, People wanna buy a specific one that fits for them. And also, they most likely already have this item. Most bikers do. Last Christmas, I bought this for myself. So if you do want to buy one, link down in the description of what I bought myself last Christmas. Like I said, guys, it's hard to gift gifts to bikers because the bikers just buy the stuff for themselves. So give them something special. And I will tell you what kind of special thing at the end. Item number four is a battery tender. And the only reason I say battery tender is a bad gift to give is because the variety of price and size varies so much. And a lot of bikers, like I said, already have this item in their kit, in their biker stuff. So make sure if you think about giving, just don't, don't, just don't, because they're expensive. And if a biker really needs it, they'll buy it for themselves. There are other better gifts to give. As we all know, Christmas is a giant Meglo Corporation's wet dream. And we've perpetuated that. And in this video, trying to tell you to not buy items that just keep doing that and feeding into that capitalistic nightmare. Lots and lots of gift guide, gift giving videos suggest these items because they, like I said, have affiliate links and they want people to buy from them so they can get commission. I want that too, but honestly, that's not important to me. What's important to me is telling you why you probably shouldn't spend your money and waste money on these items unless you know for a fact your biker in your life has asked for this or wants it. And that brings us to item number five. Item number five is an Insta360 or a GoPro. Lots of gift giving guides and those videos tell you to give this to a biker in your life so they can capture content and record experiences. And that is great. But if that person hasn't related interest in doing so, it might be just a really expensive gift that they don't use. Because honestly, everybody wants to be a YouTuber, but not everybody should be a YouTuber. And that's where we fall into the, I wouldn't suggest giving an Insta360 or a GoPro to a biker in your life. Only because it forces them to feel like they have to use it even if they're not interested in videography. And that's kind of a bummer. You don't wanna be forced to use an expensive gift that you're not interested in that hobby. So just the caveat of that gift, gift number five not to give, Caveat is make sure that person is interested in recording on their motorcycle or recording other content in their life. Otherwise you're buying a big, big expensive item for no reason. And that is why it is on my list of five items to not buy the biker in your life this season. And that completes the anti-gift giving guide, but hold the phone. There are places I suggest that you give gifts from this holidays. 
So that anti-gift giving guide was just to, just to get you to come in and listen to all of these small businesses that I highly recommend buying from. All motorcycle related and all ran by people that I personally know have a love and a drive and a motivation to make products for you guys that work well on your motorcycle or just look cool on the road. First and foremost, the local company that I absolutely adore that sells motorcycles, apparel, helmets, everything you can think of that you need, but most importantly, vintage motorcycles, is Throttle Co. They're a local business. Throttle Co, you have my heart. And if you are local to Columbus, Ohio, make sure you check out Throttle Co. Small business, give them your love this holidays. That is the first of many small businesses that I'm gonna recommend. The next is gonna be Brapstar Crew. Brapstar, if you're not familiar, I visit them every, I visit them twice a year, every year. The Brapstar Crew is amazing. They help hold charities and events down in Florida. Most importantly is the Forgotten Angels Camp Out that helps young men who have aged out of foster care get the well-deserved housing, care, and grown-up teachings that they need. So huge shout out to the Brapstar crew. Make sure you grab a cool hoodie, stickers, or a t-shirt from them. They're always working hard to bring you such cool designs. The next place I'm gonna suggest is gonna be Ride to Food. This lady I absolutely adore, Stacey Wilt. She's traveling the US and killing it, making beautiful content, taking incredible pictures, and also making really killer gear while you're out there. She has some amazing towels and some amazing other products like mugs for the perfect motorcycle camping aesthetic. Make sure you check out Ride to Food. All of these small businesses are going to be linked down below. And as I go along, if you're interested, please click and check them out and buy a quick item from them. That's why I'm suggesting them. That's why I said, screw these other gifts. These five other gifts are worthless because there's these other small businesses that are making amazing killer products that I think you guys need to know about. So after Ride to Food, we're gonna be going with Great Lake Supply. And if you're not familiar, Great Lake Supply is ran by another female motorcyclist, kind of like my female motorcyclist ladies. That's Megan Stark. She has coffee, she has riding gear. I had a personal friend of mine tell me that her riding gear is amazing and really up to par with all of the big companies. Continuing on, I have a big list, okay? So let me let me get through it. Don't leave me yet. She Wolf Moto Co. She Wolf Moto Co. has really cute apparel, hats, all the good stuff to look like a hella badass while you are riding your motorcycle, especially as a female motorcyclist. If you wanna grab a, a gift for a female motorcyclist lady in your life, I highly suggest these last few small businesses. We only have a few more, I promise, but they're all such good, quality companies, especially this next one. This next one is Go Fast, Don't Die. This company is amazing. Got this one on their mystery sale online. I love Go Fast, Don't Die. Grab yourself a killer hat, some awesome apparel, just like this hoodie. I've been like living, been living in this hoodie recently. It's amazing. Very comfortable, super soft. Love it. Go Fast, Don't Die. Killer quality products. They have major killer deal sales all the time. And you know what? I adore the people who run that company. You guys are awesome. Continuing on, we have two more. Promise, I'm almost through my list of amazing companies. As the Magpie Flies, make sure you go check out her Etsy. That is Amanda Zitto, and she is another female motorcyclist who is killing it, going out there, doing the thing, as she says. And she has amazing artwork on her Etsy. She also sells stickers and postcards and other really cute stuff. So make sure you go buy something from As the Magpie Flies, Amanda Zitto. Love your artwork, lady. And then last but not least, this guy has the most killer fabricated parts and he has been helping me out with my shadow build, TJ Brutal Custom. Make sure you go buy something for the person that you know in your family that has a Honda that would love some aftermarket parts for their bike. That's my list of small businesses. I want you to tell me, comment down below, what small motorcycle business, give us a link and tell us why you like them and what's great about them. I listed like nine or so different small businesses to check out, but I want you guys to suggest to each other what small businesses 
that you should buy from that are motorcycle related this holidays and say F the big conglomerates and buy small, buy local, buy online from these companies because they are doing just as good, if not better, shipping out these products as those big old companies. And those small businesses really deserve your business this holidays. Honestly, I can't believe every gift giving guide video, it's hard to say gift giving guide video, all of them have suggested products that are boring and not custom and not individualized. And that's what you get from these small businesses that I suggested. Those five, those five items that I said are anti-gifts, you can still give them, but I can't promise they'll use them or want to keep them. All right, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me so much. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to my sponsor for today's video. No one. <laughs> no one sponsored this video. It's just me um, just talking crap about different products, you know. And really, I'm hoping that you guys just buy one or two products from one of those few websites from the small businesses that I suggested because they deserve your love way more than a Walmart or an Amazon or a GoPro or an Insta360. So 2023 is going to bring a lot of exciting things. The usual fun stuff, biker events like Mama Tried, Forgotten Angels in Florida, and a little bit of other stuff thrown in the middle. I honestly can't promise anything specific. I know I really want to take a long trip out west this year. We'll see if that can happen. I know Eagle Rider may throw me some bikes if I actually make some plans or something, but if we can make that happen, that would be amazing to take you guys along this year out west. Really what I'm most excited to talk to you guys about is the possibility of something a little different on the channel, and that is a car build, not a motorcycle build. Yes, I know I need to finish motorcycle builds. Yes, I know, but I have an opportunity to work alongside my husband building a 1965 Fastback Ford Mustang. So if that is something that you guys think you might be interested in, make sure you comment down below. I would love to see a Fastback rebuild video. Give me those videos. The car is in pretty excellent condition. There's really not a huge laundry list of things that I need to do to this beautiful Mustang to get it running and roadworthy, but if that's something you guys are interested in, I'd really appreciate a comment or just let me know because it's not something that I'm usually doing on the channel, anything car related, but I would actually love to step into that realm of starting to work on vintage cars. So yes, next year we will be going on lots of adventures, hopefully big things to come for the channel and maybe even a vintage car build. That's if you guys are accepting of the idea. I'm not gonna throw it onto my channel if I don't get a positive reception of that. So yeah, ideas thrown out there, things may be happening and I'm super excited to bring them to you guys. What else is there to tell you? I don't think that there's much else that I have planned for the YouTube channel next year other than to just keep bringing you guys along and keep making connections. I hate my house so much. But I will keep bringing you guys along to all the adventures that I take throughout the year of 2023 and I'm so excited to get into it. And make sure you comment down below that small business that you want me to check out and that you want my fellow viewers to check out as well. And make sure you go through the comments list and see what other people have suggested for you to buy this holidays because there's gonna be a lot of cool gifts to possibly give Besides those five obvious things that I keep hearing repeated over and over and over in all of those gift guide videos. I love you guys, but I watched a few. They're super repetitive. It just repeats and repeats and repeats. Like I said, these are the five. Do not give these gifts. No. Make sure you just don't give these gifts this holiday, guys. All right, guys, and if you are not subscribed, please think about becoming a subscriber. I will have more content coming once it gets a little warmer out. And who knows, maybe I'll have a holiday Christmas ride video in the freezing freaking cold. I'm contemplating it. It's been weeks since I've rode. 
I'm itching. We need to get out of here. So I definitely challenge all of you to try and buy one or two items from all of those small businesses. Or if you feel like supporting me, I'm also a small business. Um, I also have a Teespring site where you can buy stickers or a shirt or leggings or whatever. So that'll also be linked down below too, guys. Thanks so much. I appreciate all of you watching so much because I know I was like, bah humbug and screw Christmas, but I'm really like, please support these small businesses. They deserve your love. Really, if you're gonna waste money and spend it, spend it on these people who work really, really hard and are working overtime for you this holidays to give you killer gifts. <sighs> this cat. She really thinks she should be the star of the I just wanna explore this garage so bad. This is Xena, my devil child. All right, guys, have a happy holidays. Peace out. Also, uh, uh, no beef against my YouTuber friends that made gift giving guide videos. I appreciate and love you all. Oh, <laughs>